Hello, I'm Graham Fitch and I'm a pianist and teacher of piano and I'm bringing you this series of videos on the Casio Grand Hybrid from my teaching studio in Wimbledon. In this video what I'd like to do is to show the record and playback feature to show how that can be useful, very useful, in practice. I've found that a lot of students wait for their teacher to do the job, you know, they, they're practicing away but they're not really listening attentively to what they're doing. And what I'm going to show you now will save you an awful lot of time. You'll find that you can progress much faster if you use my very simple checklist. Now what I've done here is I've got a piece of paper with a few categories, notes, pulse and rhythm, fingering, dynamics, character, and then I've left a little uh, box for, for other things that might crop up as we go along. So what I'm going to do is to take an elementary piece um, about grade one level and play you just a little bit of it. Now this represents a practice session. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play it perfectly. I'm going to make one or two mistakes, which is probably what your average elementary person is going to do when they practice. What we'll do is we'll listen back to the recording. Um, and what's good about this recording, of course, is you don't get any distortion. It's going to represent a, a very accurate uh, sound picture of what I actually did. You won't hear any distortion, you won't hear any feedback um, apart from what comes from the, from the feedback uh, on, on the practice sheet of course. So here I'm going to go. I'm, all I have to do is to press the record button and as soon as I start playing it's going to start recording. I have to do now is to press the stop button. Now when I do that I'm going to be ready listening with with my pencil and my checklist and I'm going to be talking over the top. In fact I might stop the, the recording playback and just show you what I'm doing. So already there I noticed there was a little rhythmical weakness in that first bar. Did you hear instead of it being even it ended up being... So I can mark in pulse and rhythm. What happened? Bar one, uneven. Now let me go listening again. Now, did you hear? I, I picked up there from listening back that the F sharp in the third bar was late. And that was because my hand was not prepared for the F sharp. I forgot to move my hand inwards toward the F sharp, so it made the F sharp late. So I'm going to put a little mark in there, fingering, and I'm going to put F sharp, fourth finger. Now what I need to do to make that work well is as I'm journeying up my five finger position, did you see how I moved in to the F sharp? So I've got a couple of little bullet points here that I can think about when I play back uh, on, the, on, the, on the keyboard. Now let me play again. Let's go on a little bit and see what happened afterwards. Did you notice there's another sticky spot? So I'm noticing that the, the, the weaknesses in my playing were to do with pulse and rhythm mostly and one fingering or, or technical problem. So now I write down that other issue in bar 7, um, uneven. So what I'm going to do now is having learned from the playback, I'm going to see if I can play it again better. So here I go again. All I have to do is press record again. and then play back. And all of those problems that existed the first time, I've now managed to correct them. Just from listening back critically to what I did. I hope that helps you. I think you'll find it a really useful feature of this piano as you practice.